Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiasts. Today we're featuring a 2010 Audi A5. This is a 2.0 Quattro manual transmission car. It's got 76,000 miles on it. We can finance it through Cuddle or Alaska Federal Credit Union and we welcome trades. So we like manual transmission cars, especially the all-wheel drive European versions. Uh, we like the A5, we like the body lines on it. This is a clean car and it's uh, well equipped. It's got jet black paint on it, tires are in good shape, wheels are in good shape. Service is current. We have two master keys and books for it. So they make a number of these. Uh, there's all kinds of versions right now. So this is a four cylinder turbo. It is a Quattro uh, all wheel drive, which we like. And as I mentioned, the reason we bought it uh, was for the manual transmission. You can see it's been debadged. It's also got smoke tail lights on it. It's got rear fold down seats, which is nice in a coupe. So you can put that seat down and this seat down by the pull of a trigger. So it's a 60 40 uh, folding uh, rear seat. And you do have a spare tire, which isn't that common anymore, actually, believe that or not. So the windows have been tinted. Uh, it came out of, I think this is a California car. You can see the body and paint. There was one ding. We're going to have that taken out. I think that's on the uh, driver's side back quarter panel. It's got auto, uh, auto leveling xenons on it. You can see the Quattro badging, which is Audi's all-wheel drive system. They come in front-wheel drive, 2.0s, <laughs> 3.6s, V8s. I mean, uh, all kinds of versions now. So uh, this is a four-cylinder turbo, and it is a Quattro, which we like. So you have aluminum trim. Uh, power windows, mirrors, and locks. Of course, you have leather seating surfaces. You can see the leather's in good shape. Audi's worn pretty well. The back seat, as I'm sure any A5 you're going to look at, is going to be clean because they don't get a lot of use. It's got a larger sunroof in it. So we have two master keys, which are here. Then we have the books for it. So, throw that in and start it up. So, uh, this is the reason we bought this car was the manual transmission. Uh, it also has got the right gear on it. So passenger side is clean. Passenger side seat is clean. Got a door, dash. So another badge for the Quattro system. Um, sports steering wheel. So if, you're, if your media system is here, it means you've got navigation in this generation Audi. Uh, and we're missing the button here. We'll get that replaced. That's, as it turns out, that's been a common uh, failure for this knob. So we just got to get the, uh, the piece for the center, which we'll do. Uh, if this system was on the dash here, that means it's a non-navigation car. And that's an easy thing to miss. Just because I think nowadays most people think they're going to get navigation in uh, 30 or 40 or $50,000 European vehicle. It's not the case. So this is your media center, same as the iDrive system. It's a little more intuitive maybe than the iDrive if you're not used to the iDrive. Uh, you do have dual heated seats, dual auto climate control. You have media card readers, uh, two SD card readers here. You do have a six disc changer. Uh, up here is the uh, your screen. So you've got navigation, uh, which is a nice, they have a nice, Audi has a nice navigation system uh, in this generation for MMI stuff. And then uh, you've got radio stations, which are HD, and then you have satellite radio. You have media sources, uh, so the options for media. So you have a jukebox where you can store music, SD cards, DVDs, um, or uh, Bluetooth. It does have Bluetooth on it. Uh, it's also got a backup camera, so if you throw this in reverse, you've got a backup camera. Um, it does have park assist also. So that's nice, um, all the good stuff. The stuff that we would be looking for on the European stuff as a minimum. Uh, you have volume control over here, voice activation. On the left, you have your ability to scroll through your onboard computer system or your service settings. You have cruise control down here and then um, signal indicators and brights. You do have fog lights and uh, automatic headlights, driving lights. Oh, 78,430 miles. I was, I'm sorry, I said uh, 76. Um, what else? Uh, you have home link. So these three buttons up here are programmable for security gates and garage door openers. Um, trying to think if I missed anything. Heated seats on. That's nice. 
So one of the nice things about the Audi system, so if you hit this and you scroll it, it'll give you your display here, but then it's also going to give you a visual up on the um, the media screen, which is nice. Um, so you have two uh, options for information. That's it. You can see the center console screen. So a really nice car for the money. Um, like I said, we love the manual transmission. Um, this isn't a car that we would typically look at just in a uh, turbo four-cylinder with a Steptronic. Um, just not as engaging or uh, as fun to drive. It changes completely when you get into a five or six-speed manual transmission. If you have questions or would like additional information, please feel free to contact us and we can be reached at 503-227-2354. Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast.